Hey guys, it's Brian McKnight here. Uh, I've been traveling about 17 hours to Guam. I have a concert tonight and I got off the plane to some of the most heinous craziness I've ever seen in my life that my oldest son, Brian, would post that I'm abandoning my children. And the reason why I suppose is because I have a new family. Anyone who knows me knows over the last 20 years, 30 years now as a matter of fact, that I've been there for my children every step of the way until recently. And let's be clear, my two sons are 30 and 27. Not 12, not 13, but 30 and 27. Uh, I've never missed a day of child support. I've never done anything adverse to my children whatsoever. I've always been there. I've always been there with advice, whether they took it or not. I've always been the sounding board and I've always been the one that tried to, to help them achieve whatever dreams they were wanting to reach out for. Um, I guess one of my only faults is that I gave my children everything that I didn't have in the hopes that they would appreciate it because I know how much I would have appreciated it when I was their age. Um, tough love is a tough thing as a parent to try to institute to your children because you want to help them as much as you can, and I did as much as I possibly could. When I stopped doing that for them, BJ was 25 and Nico was 22. And it wasn't like I completely cut them off at that point. That, that happened much later. But I've been there. Um, when I put them out of my house, I gave them an apartment for two years. And I said, guys, this is it. This is the time to grow up. I'm giving you two years. I'm going to pay for everything for two years, but you're going to have to work or do something because at the end of those two years, that's going to be it. It's time to be men here, guys. It's time to grow up. At the end of those two years, they hadn't done any of it. Um, it was just right around the time that Leilani and I had gotten together. Leilani was working at Children's Hospital. And let's be clear, Leilani has been one of the only people who's been an advocate to keeping us together, to keeping us having a relationship because she wants to have the nuclear family as much as I did and they have spit in her face at every turn. She got them jobs at the hospital, $18 an hour with benefits and with the option of the hospital actually paying for them to go back to school. They said, and I quote, that they knew they didn't, they didn't want to stop smoking and they would have to pass a drug test. And the day I had the doctors looking into it, Miko's on there, you know, taking a big puff. We have been advocates for them every step of the way. Now let's go to the part where we have been estranged again. We talk about abandonment. We're not, yes, I'm not abandoning them. We are estranged, which happens. BJ broke into our home a few months ago and he put X's on the eyes of our wedding photos. And then he put a photo of my first wedding on Leilani's vanity. It was at that moment. And after I heard him say, and was pointed to from other friends of mine that saw his posts on social media, that he, he basically said that I was better off dead to him than alive. I was more valuable to him dead than alive. And that was the end of me dealing with him. If you look at my Instagram, you'll see that not my last video, but the video before that 42, the song was written by Brian and I, and it was directed the video by Nico. And I went on and I said how proud I was of Nico at the time. And I really, really was. He did an awesome job in that video. Um, even before that, two, less than two years ago, these are the two gentlemen who stood up for me as my best man in my wedding. So abandonment, deadbeat dad, I've, like, I'll reiterate, I've never missed a day of child support. I've been there every step of the way. BJ, he talks about Jack's new car. Jack, BJ had three brand new cars before he was 22. But I'm not talking about material things because none of this has anything to do with money. It's about respect. Respect goes both ways. And even in family, there's a line that shouldn't and should not ever be crossed. Uh, it, it's crazy to me that people will just believe anything. And I thought it was important to set the record straight and let you guys know that abandonment has nothing to do with any of this. Deadbeat dad, I've been there every step of the way. And let's also remember that these kids are 30 and 27, not 12. It's time for grown men to be grown men. And I'm sorry that tough love happens to, to be this way. Um, and it's, I do wish them the best. I want them to have and to reach their dreams and their full potential. But like any other man in the world, you, you got to go out there and you got to take it. Um, as far as my daughter is concerned, um, you know, her mother, if you look back at my Instagram, she was a part of this family too, with Jack and Julie and Leilani and myself. And unfortunately, 
along the way, a couple years ago, I got wind that there was an older cousin who was above 18 who was quite possibly having sex with her. So I called, as a father should, to the, the state office for, for children's affairs there in Arizona, and I had never heard anything back. But the next thing that her mother did was to block all of us from her social media, from her phone, and completely estranged her from us. So what that told me was they didn't want me to be involved in her life that way. So to see the post that she said, considering that her mother only had a child with me for money in the first place, and I'll reiterate this, I have not missed a child support payment. She goes to one of the most incredible private schools in Arizona. Um, so I don't know where this is all coming from, but I thought that I needed to let everybody know that there's another side to this story. Um, you can choose to believe what you want. Uh, I, I thought that I would lay it out there for you. Anything that I say is actual and factual. All you have to do is Google Brian McKnight and Sons and you'll see us singing all over YouTube. Um, go back and look at my Instagram. Go back a couple of years. You'll see that I posted about all of my children. Um, but remember that these kids, these boys, are they're grown men and tough love is exactly what it is. It's tough love. So thanks everybody. Thanks for listening and I hope that that gives you a little bit more perspective.